Let's talk about physical therapy specializations. Welcome back YouTube. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube page, my name is Ladarius Woods and I'm one of the co-founders of Emissions Highway, a company whose number one mission is to help pre-PTs and prospective applicants live out their dream of becoming a physical therapist. If that person is you, a pre-PT or prospective applicant, please consider subscribing to our YouTube page. Let's talk about physical therapy specializations. So the first thing I want you to know is we have a national organization. So our national organization is the American Physical Therapy Association or APTA for short. That national organization has specializations that we are able to dive into. So some of those specializations include sports physical therapists, neurological physical therapists, orthopedic physical therapists, pelvic health physical therapists, and there are a multitude of other specialties that we have. But there are also specialties that are outside of the American Physical Therapy Association. So one of those specialties is LSVT Move Big. So LSVT stands for Lee Silverman Voice Treatment. And if you ever treated a patient with Parkinson's disease or seen somebody working with somebody with Parkinson's disease, they may be LSVT Big Certified. And to become LSVT Big Certified, you have to meet the qualifications that are set forth by that accredited body. You go through their course and then you sit for their exam. But that is separate from APTA. Another example is with respect to dry needling. So there are a lot of dry needling companies out there that have their qualifications. So one company I would throw out is the Spinal Manipulation Institute. So you can go to their website, see their qualifications, and if you meet their qualifications, you take their courses and then you sit for that exam. And then once you finish, then you're certified in dry needling from the Spinal Manipulation Institute. And those are just two. There are multiple other specialties that are out there that are outside of the American Physical Therapy Association. The last thing I want to leave you with is just know that all of these specialties, and there are so many out there, is the reason why we have them, the reason why we do them, is to deliver the best patient care possible. So whenever you finish PT school, go do your continuing education and look into some of these certifications and all of these things will help you become a better practitioner. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Hopefully you found something valuable from this. And if you did, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Our hope and prayer is you are able to gain something valuable from this. And please don't forget to check out the rest of our series on things I wish I knew before I went to PT school.